Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 19th of January, 2022, of the second week of Ordinary Time. Our Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, in your victory over sin and death on the cross and in your resurrection, you give us the assurance of sharing in the eternal rest of heaven. Transform my heart with your love, that I may freely serve my neighbor for his good and find joy and refreshment in the celebration of Sunday as the Lord's Day. Amen. Liturgy of the Word, but first, an introduction. By the power of the Lord of hosts, David overcame the giant Goliath. By the same power, Jesus, the Lord of hosts incarnate, shows himself victorious over the daunting problems that afflict frail humanity, as shown in the withered hand of the man in the synagogue. Still more wondrous, Jesus is able to confront our hardness of heart so that we can chant the Lord's praises for all eternity. David overcame the Philistines with sling and stone. A reading from the first book of Samuel chapter 17 verse 32 David spoke to Saul let your majesty not lose courage I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine but Saul answered David you cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him for you are only a youth while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord, who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear, will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, you come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. 
David put his hand into the bag and took out his stone, hurled it with the sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from its sheath. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 144, verse 1. Responsorial. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, verse 1. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life? rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. They immediately took counsel to put him to death. In today's Gospel, Jesus heals a man with a withered hand while his opponents, some Pharisees and Herodians, condemn him for violating the Sabbath. Instead of glorifying God and rejoicing at the man's restoration, they immediately took counsel to put Jesus to death. Mark 3, 6 What a strange reaction to a healing! This story of God's healing power and human resistance to him holds many lessons for us. First, we can see ourselves in the man with the withered hand. He was probably limited in his ability to take care of himself or provide for his family. Mark doesn't indicate whether he had injured his hand or if he was born with that limitation. Perhaps he blamed God for his condition. Similarly, we may have parts of us that are symbolically withered or out of shape 
and keep us from functioning as we ought. Jesus wants to heal and restore us so that we can live as God intends for us. Second, we should pay attention to the Pharisees and Herodians. Even worse than the man's condition, you might say that they suffered from withered hearts. The long-awaited Messiah stood right before them, yet all they could see was someone who violated their regulations. Their assumptions about the Sabbath made them indifferent to the man's suffering. Even worse, they placed conditions on God and rejected Jesus' attempt to soften their hearts. Nobody's heart gets withered overnight. Like these men, we also can resist God's ways and slowly close ourselves off to God. Through lack of contact with the Lord and by listening only to our own desires and to worldly philosophies, we allow our hearts to grow calloused and cold. We can even do all the right things and yet wither away inside. Our hardened hearts distort our empathy for people who are suffering and move us to reject God's efforts to heal them and us. Whether it is our hands or hearts that are withered, God wants to bring us love and healing, and the good news is that Jesus has authority over this and every other part of our lives. He can restore us to freedom and wholeness. Change my heart, O oh God. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know of like-minded people, which you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click on the link below to be directed to my website for a plethora of information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.